Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. See why APC aspirant has just stepped down in Edo State. One of the aspirants has just stepped down and everybody is wondering what's going on. Guess who? Pastor Ize Iyamu. I know you are wondering. Yes, it's Pastor Ize Iyamu. This is the same person Oshomole called and told him to step down. And Pastor Ize Iyamu was wondering and asking Oshomole why should he step down? Well, uh, Oshomole has prevailed on him and there is serious tension in Edo State as Pastor Ize Iyamu steps down at the request of Adams Oshomole. Many people are wondering what, uh, you know, Oshomole has a candidate whom he intends, who he has in mind, should be the APC candidate. You know, um, APC has been divided as well as PDP over candidates that should represent the party for the governorship election slated for later this year. And um, primaries will be taking place in no distance time within a few hours from now primaries will be taking place in in uh, those states and um is a yamu who went to abuja to buy his form and told Oshomole to leave him alone has just stepped down but the reason for his stepping down will surprise you as many people watch on asking themselves what is going on please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe thank you another apc governorship aspirant stepped down in edo state reason will surprise you Less than 24 hours to the primaries of the election of the All Progressive Congress APC to allow elect his flag bearer for the September 21st governorship election in Edo State. A frontline aspirant of the party, Pastor Ize Iyamu, has withdrawn from the race. He announced his withdrawal on Friday, February the 16th in a statement made available to journalists. The withdrawal notice was addressed to the national chairman of the party, Abdurrahim Ganduje, and the acting state chairman of the party. Full text of the withdrawal letter reads, few months ago, after extensive interacting with family, friends, political associates and supporters, I joined the 2024 Edo governorship race as a result of my passion and commitment to the cause of rescuing Edo state from the current condition, on, current condition it faces now. I entered the contest as a progressive Democrat with an open mind to keenly contest and accept the result of a process that is fair, credible, and transparent. I appreciate the com I appreciated the commi commitment and effort made by the National Working Committee (NWC) of APC to correct the impression maliciously created by certain persons that some aspirants including myself has been disqualified from the governorship contest the nwc consulted the uh, the screening committee and all 12 aspirants who purchased the purchased and completed denomination forms we have successfully screened and subsequently issued clearance certificates this step was praiseworthy and helped in restoring our dignity and integrity in the eyes of the public having been cleared to contest i regrettably wish to announce my withdrawal from the race although painfully this decision has become imperative after an extensive consultation with my family and friends associates and supporters i make this sacrifice in the interest of peace and unity and the party desperately require request at both state and national level. I humbly appeal to the good people of Edo State to accept my decision, which I, which I very personally promise to be there for them at all times. Thankfully, I acknowledge the fatherly rule of President Bola Metinubu as well as the Party National Working Committee uh, for the fairness, commitment to democracy, process democratic process likewise i remain grateful to the state working committee 
for their principal, the state to allow a, level, a plain level field for all aspirants. I am extremely appreciative to the family, friends, support, well wishers, and the extraordinary hardworking men and women of our campaign organization who were prepared to stop at nothing to see me fly the flag. I salute your great work and steadfastness and courage. Finally, as a lawyer party man, I wish to plead that I and my team supporters shall support any candidate that emerge as the primary election tomorrow. So Pastor Ize Yamun, that is the former stepping down uh, from the party race. And many people are saying, you know, a Shomole has called him and they've had discussions and um, appeals has been made in terms of, you know, what, uh, what, what will be happening in the next couple of months. And everybody is waiting patiently. Uh, this has become the new terrain with all that is happening. Everybody looking and waiting patiently to see what will go on. People never really believe that Pastor Ize Yamu will step down. However... He has stepped down from the race and, um, you know, Oshomole initially, you know, met with him and the person Oshomole wants, um, you know, is a Mosu Idausa and, um, you know, Oshomole had candidates and um, PDP on his own side is not helping matters. PDP is a divided house, you know, and everybody's just waiting to see how, you know, this will go on. I um, mean, less than 24 hours, uh, the parties will be having their primaries. After the primaries, um, every uh, political party in a do state will have a candidate flying the party's ticket and the flag. And afterwards, the election will commence fully and we'll get to know who the state has decided to be the candidates for, you know, the, the, the governor of the state. Um, Obaseki um, has his own candidate at heart. Oshomole has his candidate at heart. Labour Party also have their candidate. Everybody is looking patiently to see how all of this will play out. Edo State, um, the primaries will be taking place in no distance time and everybody wants to see what will be happening. Whatever it is, my people, the most important thing is that, you know, we have good leaders and sincere, honest people who will help us get better and make this country a better place. We are tired of the same thing over and over again, and we want this country to move forward. We want things to get better. And um, Edo State, please don't collect 2,000 Naira, 5,000 Naira, or spaghetti or anything from anybody. Vote for the candidate of your choice. You feel you think will help the state to get better. So nobody should take, uh, you know, to allow anybody to manipulate them, you know, and uh, take away that which belongs to them in order to uh, become the state governor because they